So the first card reads, what does my Instagram tell you about me? Finish the sentence. Just by looking at you, I think. The next card was a wild card and it says, make an assumption about me. Hey guys, it's Haley Sunny, and we're not really strangers. I'm really excited for this video because we're playing a game. So we're gonna be playing this game called We're Not Really Strangers. This is not an ad at all. I just ran into this game on Instagram and I love the concept. You know when you have some of those nights where you're just hanging out with your friends and you're just talking about the randomest things and then when the conversation ends, you're like, wow, like I feel so much closer to you. And I love that we could get personal and not just stay on the surface. So this game allows Allows you to do exactly that. There's two ways to play this game. You can play safe or you can play to grow. I don't want to play safe today in this video. So we are playing to grow. We're becoming vulnerable and open to judgment because that is the only way that we will see any personal growth within ourselves. So the game works in a way where you have to answer the questions for me based off of what you think about me so that we're no longer strangers because I'm going to tell you the real answers to those questions. The game has three levels and as you skip each level, you get a little bit deeper into the questions. So we're gonna be starting off with questions from level one because I thought let's just keep it simple and fun for now. Just warm ourselves up so that in the upcoming videos I can become more vulnerable and open to you guys. So what I did was I took a picture of some of the questions from level one and I posted it on my Instagram story. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to be a part of the upcoming videos. And I got a ton of answers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first one. So the first card reads what does my Instagram tell you about me I'm gonna be reading some of your answers and then answering the question for myself that you're funny outgoing and so extroverted so extroverted I think I am a little bit more extroverted than I am introverted but I also feel like I'm closer to the middle of the scale you love life and the people who make you happy that is as accurate as my answer would be for that question it's kind of like my Instagram is a personal journal for myself like a photo scrapbook almost I guess I kind of do it for myself too, not just because I want other people to see it. That you are very open-minded and a free spirit. That you are trying to be hot all the time, although you don't seem like that on YouTube. By hot, do you mean like sex appeal? I think there's a very big shift from focusing on sex appeal on Instagram to more so just being confident and doing whatever the fuck you want with your body because you feel like it. I guess I am posting like pictures of me that look the best. That's kind of how we're programmed to use the app, you know what I'm saying? That you are very confident, but you are hiding something. Well, whatever that something is, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think the only thing that I am private about is like my personal relationships. That's about it. And that's because I don't like it when it's all up in people's faces. You live and you learn. You value travel, friends, and you look like you prioritize living life to the fullest. I love, love, love all of these answers. The fact that I can like correctly, authentically like reflect that through my feed makes me feel good about myself. And here are some of the answers that you guys put for yourself. So what does your Instagram tell others about you? That I try to hide my insecurities behind pretty pictures because I need validation from others. I think so many of us do that. Having a lot of likes on Instagram automatically translates to, okay, people like me. You feeling good about yourself should not be based off of if somebody felt like double tapping their screen that day. I feel like my Instagram portrays a dreamy version of myself, a lot more confident than real me. My Instagram definitely, maybe it like still look like it does now where I look super happy and confident, but it wasn't always like that. I think I also like kind of made it look like that, but I was aware of that and it was just like something I was working towards. Yeah, it's okay for your life to look like a highlight reel on Instagram if you're very open about it with yourself so that you're not wrapped up in a non-existent reality. Moving on to question number two. The next card was a wild card and it says make an assumption about me. Let's read some of your answers. You never had to deal with real emotional pain in your life. Things that didn't make you want to live anymore. Everyone has dealt with pain in some way at some point in their lives. Yeah, I felt pain, but nothing that has traumatized me or scarred me at this point in my life. I think I'm very lucky and I'll be honest with that. Like I'm very privileged in that sense. Definitely had those moments in my life where I like didn't have any friends. I hated my life because I kept moving around all the time. But like I said, it wasn't something so significant that it affects my life on a daily basis right now. You're a really sensitive person, but at the same time, you know your worth. I don't think 
I'm a very sensitive person at all. I think I am very secure in myself. It's very rare that someone will say something that really hits me in a deep spot. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes I'm like, why do I not feel any emotions right now? Am I a real human being? Your hair is naturally straight. It is not. This is actually my hair. Don't know what the frick you would use to describe it. Wavy? Hagrid? You sometimes hate the pressure of being a YouTuber. I think I just hate the pressure of constantly having to stay relevant. I assume you're a real bad bitch on a good way, you know? I actually played this game with my friends and a lot of the responses I got was, you're a bad bitch. And I love that. I love my bad bitch energy. I'm a good person, just a bad bitch on the side. Wild child. I'm a wild child. I've been told I have good dance moves too. Let's go to the next question. What about me intrigues you? How you were brought up and your school life. As a child, my parents would just force us to move all the time. I've lived in cool places like Dubai, Istanbul, Miami. So yeah, I should sit down and talk about my life. Your work ethic. I also have really good work ethic. One thing I would never change about myself. I'm determined if I set my mind to something, I'll get it done, it'll happen. And also I really believe in manifesting things, like putting the good energy out there and like believing in yourself. How can you be happy all the freaking time? Yeah, like once a week, maybe I'll get in a little mood swing, I'll get a little stressed. But for the most part, I would describe like 95% of the emotions I feel as happy. It just has to do with surrounding yourself with the right people, letting go of the things that bring you down. You feel shitty about your body. I felt shitty about my body and I realized like I would rather suffer in the gym and like have to go through these hell exercises then have these like heavy emotions weighing on me that's how I fix that problem whenever I realize something was making me feel unhappy I just like figure out a way to get rid of that thing wondering if in private you act similar as you do on your channel I think on my channel I have to have a little bit of a filter just because I want to go with the YouTube guidelines I think in real life I cuss a little bit more. I'm more chill in private also, but I also am more wild in private. Your life before YouTube. I have vlogged since I was five. I would just take a camera with me everywhere I went and just look at it and just talk to it and explain what I'm doing. There is a 24 minute video of me singing an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And I went through every single fruit possible. Like I got to papaya and guava. 24 minutes. I was meant for this. Like I've always wanted to talk to other people. You stand by what you believe you're not afraid to speak your mind sometimes I am like did you guys watch my controversial like topics video I'm always walking on eggshells just because I don't want to offend anyone where your love for dinosaurs came from I took a dinosaurs class my first quarter of college I was intrigued by dinosaurs and their history of earth like did you know birds are just like descendants of dinosaurs your Thanksgiving turkey was literally an evolved dinosaur you probably didn't know that I also really like it because it's like a symbol of when I first started college that phase in my life it was like a really happy time for me and just because dinosaurs are wild and crazy some of my friends describe me like that a crazy wild dinosaur okay the next question what do you think I'm most likely to splurge on car yeah my car I splurge on because I fucking feel sexy when I drive it and I love it my car is awesome honestly it was kind of just like to prove a point to myself like ever since I was a little child I always was like I want an all-white Range Rover and then I fucking got an all-white Range Rover with my own hard-earned money chocolate so true you know those budgeting diagrams that your like bank makes for you like 50% of mine is food clothes I never splurge on because brands send me clothes shoes yes I am a very big sneaker head and I like expensive shoes YouTube equipment yes these lights are like $200 my tripod is like $100 my camera with its lens is like $2,000 my vlog camera my other tripod my stick camera my chargers my microphone my laptop that just cost $4,000 that I need to make videos because my old laptop was literally dying. I splurge on that, but it's like an investment. I think splurging is more just, just like being like, <sighs> I should not be spending this money anyway, but like give me whatever it is that I want. The next question. As a child, what do you think I wanted to be? I know exactly what I wanted to be. I'm gonna save the answer like right after I read all of your answers. I'm interested to see what you guys are gonna say. A model, no. I knew I wasn't the best looking child. Thank God for braces. Y'all, I look like SpongeBob for like half of my life. A doctor? Never. A nurse? Never. I can't stand blood or the hospital or the dentist. Fashion designer? I think I did want to be for a minute. Honestly, I forgot about that one. Guys, literally nobody guessed what I wanted to be. 
Oh, this person did. Famous. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to be famous. I wanted to be an author. Let's just get really deep. Like, I'm gonna take you into a very personal point in my life. I, like, really loved myself when I was, like, six or seven. So at this stage in my life, I would make a lot of PowerPoints talking about myself. Like, the PowerPoint would literally just be called me. And just, I would just have slides on slides about me talking about myself. I'm gonna insert a slide right here. Go, insert. So this is what I said. I wanted to be a performer, but I really had a bad voice. So I don't know. You make what you want of this slide. Next question. Finish the sentence. Just by looking at you, I think. Someone said, you are 13. <laughs> Thank you, Esther. You're a snob, but like, you're not. You just kind of look like one. I get that all the time. I made a whole video about people's first impressions of me versus now. Literally every single one was like, you're a bitch, but you're not. Gangster. So I'm a 13 year old snobby gangster? Okay. You had an amazing workout routine. Oh, so you like saw me on the beach or something. You are French. Oh my God, I'm French. Oui, je suis Française. Je suis né à Paris. Just kidding, I'm actually 12% Italian though. You are not from Turkey. I get this so many times. You should have seen me before my nose job. I kind of look like I was from Turkey. The next question. Do you think I was popular in school? Explain. I'm very curious as to what you guys will answer this one. Esther, who actually went to school. By the way, thank you, Esther. She's one of my best friends. She's been participating in this question and answer series since the first question. You weren't popular, but everyone liked you. Accurate. Somebody else said, yeah, because popular girls were always the prettiest. Thank you for your compliment. No, I was not. Yes, because you're confident. No. <laughs> no, because you were more shy back then and now you're not. Yes, did I like ever go to school with you? Because that was pretty on point. Not really, doesn't seem like you'd be interested in that. Okay, that's kind of like a compliment. I was very interested in that. I was so brainwashed with the whole mean girls stereotypes. I really wanted to be in that group. Like I literally would have cut off one of my toes if somebody was like, you'll wake up tomorrow and be a part of the popular girls group. I would have been like, here's my toe. Oh, this person got it very, very correct. I guess people talked about you because of the YouTube, the YouTube, but I'd say that you stuck to your group of friends. Yes, very true. And a lot of the time I was that girl. I would have one really good friend. Sometimes like if that person didn't show up to school, I'd be like, fuck, like who do I hang out with? And I was like, Okay, I'm just gonna have to go sit in the bathroom, I guess, over lunch break. I was kind of a loser for some of the different schools that I went to. I think people knew your name, but you weren't popular. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense because it is true. It's so funny, so many people said yes. The very honest answer to this is no. And not because I was too shy either, just because I was annoying. Next question. How many speeding tickets do you think I've gotten in my life? Three, two, one, quite a few. Around four, five, ten? Someone goes, just parking tickets. <laughs> the correct answer is zero. I do not speed. Um, parking tickets. I think I've had like three or four parking tickets. Maybe if the fucking parking signs in Los Angeles wasn't like a multiple choice question with a word problem on it, I wouldn't have these parking tickets, but no. Let's just do permit exempt. I don't even, I didn't even know what the word exempt meant till like two years after I started living in LA. Next question. Do I seem like someone who would get a name tattooed on myself? Why or why not? No, your taste is way too good to get a name tattooed on yourself. Yes, you seem like a person who's willing to try new things and take risks. Nah, I feel like you're scared of commitment. Wow, ouch. But you and your boyfriend have been together for ages, I don't know. Have you not been keeping up with my life? Fuck no, you're smarter than that. Thank you, someone said it. Yeah, on the side of your ring finger. <laughs> this person was like, I know her so well, we came out of the womb together. <laughs> no, you seem independent. Snaps to that, sister. Okay, game over. I hope you guys know me a little bit better now. If this series like kind of gets a lot of attention from you guys, I might wanna try out something interesting where I like host a game session and then have actual strangers that follow me online like come participate. For now, that's all you get. That was level one. Next episode will be level two. So let me know in the comments if you guys like this. We're Not Really Strangers has a very cool Instagram page so you guys can also check them out. Thank you to the creator of this game, Corrine for actually creating something that has meaning. I love boss ladies that do big things. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell so you get notified when I do upload the next video of the series. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much all the way to Pluto and back.
拜。